Hey guys. Okay, I just want to give you an update. It's something exciting. And what you can do when you go to sleep at night and create the illusion. If you know what you're doing. So, I'm going to walk you through it. So, what happened is, uh, I fight with Christ. My wife, I look at her all the time. She's driving nice voices in my head. All that. So, what I needed was something to distract me from all that. And I can focus on. So, I mentioned to Christ. Or, no, he thought it. He mentioned it. He goes, we were talking about trains. How I made trains and the illusion. Toy trains, uh, HO scale trains. He goes, you should make a real one and live in it. And I'll put it up there somewhere for you and you can live in it. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, create it in the illusion. And create it there. And then I'll take it, put it somewhere where you like it. In St. Illusion. Uh, and I go, well, it's going to be out in the woods, you know. Or out in, out in nature, in the forest, or on a beach. I like, I would like one side of the train car overlooking a lake or the ocean I like lakes, they're better and the other side facing like a, have a little lawn and forest and he's like okay so with that I found what train car I wanted to live in and I turned it into my new home <laughs> it's not a home, it's a train car so I found what they call a Via Rail, uh, was like a mega dome, mega dome car. I'll put it. I'll put a picture in the description, and I'll film one for you right now, just so you can see it. What I'm talking about, and uh, what you can do with these things. I'm gonna film for you right now. This is what. This is the train car. I am creating an illusion. To scale, like real, real train car. It's passenger train car, and it's life size, normal, everything about it, as close to normal as I can get. Like I pretty know much inside out of a train car, the wheels, the structure, how it all works. So I'm going to show you. Okay. So right there, that's it. So that's all observation deck. And it's via rail. Now you got four windows, two places where this is like a like places for electricity and stuff like that. Down here you got your water tanks, all your fresh water, your uh, fuel to run the stoves and stuff. Here, this for me is going to be the hardest part right here. You see, not this junk laying around, but you see this, the springs and the wheels. There's three wheels. I'll show you a better one. There's the uh, wheels. It's called a truck. Trucks. There's three. Three tr three wheels. You got springs. You got gizmos. You got. I got I to gotta put all that in. I want it real. Like I want to take this thing someday, hopefully, and make it run on a track. So you need your air pressure. You need all that. So I want everything on it. All this stuff. Now. If you want more windows on the side, like here, like this is all your cooking space, your ba bedrooms and stuff. For me, not in real life. This would be all my bedrooms and stuff. This would be all the cooking. Okay, my kitchen area. Uh, my bedding and bathroom. Stuff like that. And up here, this is all going to be, more or less, the whole thing is going to be like a, a greenhouse. I'm going to put an all greenhouse up here. Over here, I'm going to have a place where you can have company over. And you can sit around a table, play cards, look up the window, play on the computer, all that stuff. While you're sitting there looking at the stars, um, these things, you let fresh air and I'm going to pop, make them so you can pop them right out. Um, so this is what I'm going to do when I make it. And uh, from that point... Here you see there's no doors, so you only can get into this train car from this side and this side, like here. From this car, here. From this car to this car, you can't walk in. At least on this side. <laughs> but I think it's pretty much the same on the other side. Now, 
I can modify it just by my what I want to put inside. I could put a door here and make it come out. But what I want to do, what I'm going to do, I already planned it, is I'm going to put a deck. Now there's a door on this side of the car. I'm going to put a deck right here. Great big deck. And I'm going to have like chairs going around. And, you know, barbecue. All that stuff. Little deck. Put the telescope on there. Have your binoculars, your radio, your cameras, tripods. Um, and this will be facing the ocean. So the ocean will be somewhere, let's say here, the ocean. And on the other side will be like the forest. That's what I want. I mean, you know, an ocean, whatever. Now I cut the track. The track I cut in the illusion. So there's not a, you can't roll this into the spot you like. You can't roll it into the spot you like. You have to pick up the track, pick up the whole train car. Now Jesus Christ can do this. I can do it. You just got to know how to do it. And it takes time to learn, but whatever. Christ can do it better than me. You pick up the track, you pick up the ties, you pick up the train, you pick it up and you carry it to where you want to place it by the ocean. Then you set it down, then you put your rocks and your flower gardens and everything and maybe some lawn chairs out here or something. And this is your house for one man, okay? Kids can come over, you got lots of uh, kids and other people can come over and visit, they can sleep in there. You got spare bedrooms, you got, you got over here you're gonna have your bathroom. Up here there'll be beds. I'm gonna put a bed up here so you can sleep and look at the stars and um, most of this is gonna be like a greenhouse where you can grow your tomatoes. Remember, there's no bugs. There's no heat. Alright? Unless you want it. That's up to you. You could be minus ten and it's a beautiful day in LA. It could be minus forty. Depends on what you want, wherever your mind goes. So this is what I'm saying. So this is going to be my house. It'll be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, man. It's going to be great. So I'm going to modify it inside. I'm going to take out all the seats up here. I'm going to put in some beds. A couple beds. Or one bed for me. Then I can lay and look out the window. Um, this will be a kitchen. And down here I'm going to have bunk beds on one side. Like... One, two, three, four, maybe five, six for the kids, whatever. People that visit. And then the bathroom will be on this side, on the, this side. Here will be where you eat your dinner. You know, sit around, the, sit around, eat your dinner. If you have friends over, you drink your wine, drink your beer, sit there and laugh, watch the hockey game. Um, here, here will be the kitchen. Huge, you got everything in the kitchen you need. It'll be compact and a little tight. But man, it's beautiful. So this is like a cottage, you know, like a cottage when you go to the cottage. But it's a train car. And what I gotta do is, from the normal train car, when I create it, take out all the seats, put in the seats, modify it a little bit inside to make it livable. And pretty much, that's it. So, how cool is that? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. Now what you do is, when you lay down, when you, if you can do, if you do this, when you lay down and go to bed, what do you see? Most people see blackness, right? Now creating that blackness. Now imagine, but what I do, when I was a little kid, I would just see blackness, and that was it. I learned to work my soul. Where I could take the, my hand and go. I could, I could, I just imagine I'm thirsty. Oh, fuck, I'm thirsty. What you just did there, laying in your bed, looking at the blackness, and you go like that. And you're like, where did this come from? You just created it in the illusion. You're sleeping in the illusion right now. You just created a water bottle full of water and you took a drink. It's as real as this bottle of water for the reality in the illusion. As real. Okay? Now.
consciously know. Now, consciously, not subconsciously, unconsciously, soul consciously, or whatever. Create a bottle of water in your hand. Don't look at it yet. Just look at the blackness. Create, feel your hand coming out. Feel your hand. Look at your hand. Wow. My soul's got hands. And you can reach out with your soul now. You got two hands. Now, put your hand by your side. Fuck, I'm thirsty. Fuck, I'm thirsty. Take, imagine you're holding a bottle of water. Just imagine it. I'm thirsty. And all of a sudden you feel a bottle of water in your hand. It's full. Reach up and take a drink. Okay? You just created an illusion. Consciously. While laying in your bed meditating. Now, the deeper you go, and the more in the illusion you're there, the more real it is when you wake up in the morning. Totally, when you wake up out of REM. And you wake up and you're laying there, and you know when you're... You gotta go piss, you're laying there, you gotta go piss, and not real bad, but you're laying there, and you're like, wow, that was a cool dream, or wow, that was a bad dream. All of a sudden, start creating. You can create everything right there. Now, everything you create, everything you create, if you're hooked up with JC, with Jesus Christ, or not, you can leave it right here, you can create, you can create now. What you want to do is, just for the hell of it, create a room for you. A room. Something you like. Decorate it. This is your room in outer space of blackness. Imagine outer space. You're, you are floating in the ocean right now. It's called, in, when you dream of the ocean, this is what you're doing. When you dream you're floating on top of the ocean, you're half outside of the illusion and half inside the illusion. Dive down, you're in the illusion. Now create. That's where you are when you wake up. Now create. Create the water bottle. Create yourself an apartment. Create yourself the way you like it. Everything you need. Knives, toasters, I don't know, whatever you want. Make it your apartment. You're creating there. You're creating there. Now your soul will live there. That's the place to go. Don't let anybody in. Don't even put a door on it so you can get out. Because you can get out through the roof. You can pull yourself through the door. Don't even put a door on it. This is your room in the blackness. No one knows where it is. No one can find it. Or you can have it in the middle of your family and everybody knows where it is. But they're going to come in. And when if you hang out with bad guys or rotten, rotten kids all the time, they're going to follow you home. And when you leave, they're going to come in and steal all your shit. Then they're going to go back to Judah and sell it all. <laughs> what, I'm just saying Jenna, because I was watching Eve. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they're going to go off and sell it all to make money. That's the way it works there. So, if you're with Christ, it's okay. Now, if you know you're with Christ and you're okay with Christ and you can talk to Christ, cool, which I can. He suggested to me, go on the illusion, make yourself a train car the way you want it. We'll go back to St. Illusion. I'll show you a few places you can set up, set your, and he was floored. He went in, he came through me, went in the illusion, and I walked him through everything with what I was thinking, and he, he was crying. He's jealous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's already got his fucking mansion, contemporary mansion, that every, but he's got a wife and kids, right? I don't, I'm just like, guy, but I have lots of kids. I have a couple kids and a wife and everything. So, and plus we have our own house in St. Lucian, so that... If I am going nuts in my house, see ya. I'll be at the train car. Right? So, there you go, guys. Just like that. Just like that. You create it in the illusion. Now, let's say you create something real heavy and you can't move it. And that's okay, because it's heavy, it's solid. Now, you, what you're doing is you're playing tricks on the mind and the soul. The tricks. Your mind is saying, you can't move that car. You can't move that car. You can't move that engine block. That's the best engine block on the planet. But you can't move it because it weighs a ton. And so you grab it. You, go, you have to get it up there. You have to go up. 
if you look above you, there's like a roof. You'll see it, it's there. You may not see it, all you'll see is blackness, but it's there. And that's where, if you're with Christ, you're, you'll go there. That, when I'm, in, when I'm building this thing, I'm building it in the oceans, the illusion. It's just blackness. What you need to do is go up and eventually you'll get to where you'll meet the, th the level. And then you come into, for me, I'm downtown St. Illusion. And my soul comes up. I'm still in the illusion, wrapped up in myself. But I'm in St. Illusion with Christ and my family and everything. Or I go back down in the ocean in my illusion. And this is where I like to be, okay? Now this part of the illusion is me creating in the illusion, consciously. When I'm in dream space, and I talked about when I'm dreaming in the illusion, I dream in the dream illusion, which takes up everything. And I like to come down. When I come down, you're going down in the lower astral in the dream illusion. And the dream illusion is part constructed, part dream. So you're dreaming things like bottles, talking to people, walking down the street. But there are bad people here. And your creation, whatever, your mental framework is creating dreams. You don't know a dream bad guy from a real bad guy. You're walking into a bar there's people around. Which one did you create for the dream? And which ones are real entities to screw you? You don't know because they're all just as real. The girl, the all pretty girl sitting in this bar. Couldn't hurt her or fly. They're all beautiful. The bad guy is one of them. He masked himself. He turned himself into a pretty girl. So you wouldn't know what the fuck you're doing. Because you're dreaming. He walks up to you and goes, <coughs> puts a fucking knife in your head, steals your fucking shit. That's what they do there. All the time. And that's why I go down there and put myself in them positions. My mom, my inner light, puts me in them positions down in the illusion to catch these pricks. Okay? Now the illusion is also people from Christianity to come down here. I'm conscious of it all. I've learned this over eight year period. So there's conscious illusion in the illusion and where you're meditating or you're wide awake. When you wake up in the morning and you see blackness, start creating. It's the best time. When you wake up from a dream and you still see the dream going on around you, you're creating an illusion. Or you could be in St. Lucia, you could be at Oceanside, and Christ Christianity has many mansions, like Christ says. And my, in Christianity, there are many, many mansions, right? You could be in any one of these places. One of them is called St. Lucia. Okay? Your soul probably lives in St. Lucia. That's why you're there. That's why I'm there. Well, no, my wife put me there. I really had no choice because I, I ripped all my skin. So anyway, this is what I'm saying, guys. You got you got to figure out your shit. But start lay down, meditate consciously. When you're totally checked out, meditated, not checked out consciously, but totally relaxed and loosey goosey. Go, pull out, thirsty. There you go, you just created an illusion. Either subconsciously you do it, you subconsciously it's all dream space, you create subconsciously in the dream space. What's the lottery numbers? Oh, well, I'm gonna go find, I'm gonna go see what yesterday's lottery numbers were. But you put a trick in there, you're looking at yesterday's lottery numbers, but you told yourself yesterday's lottery numbers are today's lottery numbers. Take them out, go to the store, hey, Get the lottery numbers, yeah. Rips them out, goes. Write them down on a piece of paper. Then go play.
because you tricked the illusion. You can do that, man. You can do that. It's all time and space, zero time and space in the spirit world. You can do it. Do it all in the illusion before you take it to Christianity, because as soon as you start creating Christianity, they're going to bust you and you can't do shit. It's all controlled. <laughs> but I can create in the in, in say illusion this train car. I just can't bring the plants back. I just can't bring nothing alive. And Christ has to clear that whole train car of bad things before. Like I could have put a fucking demon in the gearbox and in the, in the tire, you know, whatever. Christ missed it. I open it up and let it go. There's a demon running around saying, Lucian, they catch me, I'm toast. <laughs> and then they know everything. Eventually. Almost everything. You know what I mean. Anyway, they get it eventually. So, these are the things you can do. Meaning of trading, I'm creating this train car. I'm putting it in the illusion. I'm creating it in the illusion. Detail as I can. Curtains. Stoves, pots, pans, everything I like, the way I like it. I, in the illusion, I, I look up a window, I'm going to create Lake Superior. And I put it up here, I create Lake Superior. Sunset, everything. Bugs, smells of the water, barbecue, burgers cooking, beans, ice cold beers stacked up to the ceiling. Okay, you can create all this. Okay sick and then behind the other side oh, just cool breeze man coming off the lake and here you got wolves walking around in the forest okay this is my illusion this is in my illusion I'm creating everything like that when I get to the same illusion level level three of same illusion or yeah yeah even the same illusion is a reality, but you can create within that reality. It's not as hard here. It's not as hard there as it is down here. You just gotta learn to learn the tricks. And it all starts with once you're awake, once you wake up and you're still in the dream, find out where you are or tell yourself to go there. Go to the illusion. You wake up. You're in the same illusion, looking on the beach, crazy standing there, and you go, oh, fuck this, I don't want this, I want to go create my train. Well, see you, crazy, I gotta go. You're down in the illusion, start creating your trains. It's the best time, because it's so solid. It's this solid. Now, the more you wake up, the less solid it will, the less solid it will be, and lighter it will be, because you're taking your subconscious out of that space. Immerse yourself in it best you can and when you create something create the weight okay this is a like this like the spoon you can create a spoon okay that's the coffee you can create the spoon in the illusion okay you can program it to walk put a little legs on it make it walk if you want it but you want a spoon so what you do is you create the spoon but it can be light as a feather there's no weight to it what you gotta do, what I do, this is what I do. Solid, 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 solid. I chant, it's make it solid. And energy goes into it, your subconscious goes into it, and it gets heavy. Now, it's a solid steel spoon. I was creating, I, this is what happened to me today. I was dreaming in the illusion. I was in a, a train car. Now, Chris put me in the train car because I like trains. I was a waiter in the train car. Never been a waiter in a train car. I don't know why I was. I woke up. I'm still in the train car. Chris goes, get the ashtrays. So I ran, got the ashtrays. And it said, via rail, and had a via F unit on it. And I go, holy shit, these are fucking worth a mint. And he goes, grab them. Give them to me. And I'm like, I get them to him. And then he goes, and then my wife goes, grab the garbage cans. So I grabbed the garbage cans, had a picture of Via Rail on it. This is from 1975, I think. <clears throat> Worth a mint. Gave them to them. They said, grab some seat, grab a seat. We need the material. I go, what do you need the material for? It's just a stupid seat. He goes, we make things out of it, but we don't have that material. We might not have that material. It's a different 
time period, different chemical makeup, different everything. He goes, we don't have that material. Grab the material. We can make, we can tear it apart, make new things out of it, or learn from it. I'm like, fucking, here you go, man. You can see. I ripped it off, and guys, I just pulled it. I said, I, there's a guy sitting on it, because he was in my dream. He's still, I said, excuse me, sir. Grab him, throw him over there. <laughs> la, la, because I know now I can do this. I grabbed the seat, pulled it, pushed it up. Great big seat. And I go, I want, I want this. There's a, a, a round one, like this, at the end of the car. So I ran down there. I said, I want this for my bedroom. It's like a seat. It's like a couch. And there was no uh, arm things, you know, like in the train. There's no arm things. It's just a big lounge. And so I grabbed the whole thing. Chris going, what the hell are you going to do with that? And I'm like, I put it in my house. My wife goes, ah, hell, you're putting it in the house. I go, well, I don't care. Put it in my fucking, where I keep my trains, all my trains and my butterflies, in this warehouse or whatever. Keep it in there. Save it for me for later. And so I gave him, gave him the seat. And he's got a seat. I got a seat. He went, gave the his seat to the fucking R and D people in Christ consciousness, research and development to make new things, new chemicals. You know how Christ comes up and goes sprinkle, sprinkle, puts the fucking powder dust in your head, and you go, <laughs> you fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, pixie dust. You know, tooth fairy, all that shit. Well, there's a reason they have that. Okay, there's some reason why all this shit that we take. For nursery rhymes and bullshit, it's all Christ oriented. Christ comes down, puts sleep. You can't sleep because you got whatever wrong with you. He'll sprinkle some stuff on your head. And uh, he asked me the other day, he goes, Can you make me magic mushrooms? He was smoking a pint, he cut smoking pot because he smokes pot and he smokes cigarettes. The Christ I'm working with smokes cigarettes. That's why he wanted an ashtray for his own house. Plus, it's got the the Via Rail on it, which is like iconic for Canada and anyway. So he goes, can you make magic mushrooms? I go, why? He goes, he goes well, I will try. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. And plus I can give it to uh, research for what you make. I don't know. He wants to know. I'm like, yeah, I, I haven't done it yet. But this is what he asked me. This is what's going on. I'm like, so this is how you create an illusion. Now, this is what I'm doing. So if you have anything to ask, ask me. That I might have missed something here. But that, for me, is the best way to create an illusion. As soon as you wake up in the morning. Or, and eventually, you learn how to do it. And then, then, you're bored in the afternoon, you got nothing to do, you're a little tired, well, you got nothing to do, fucking lay down, meditate, check out, go into the illusion, start fucking building your life. And then, if you know Jesus Christ, and you're talking to him, say, can you grab this for me and bring it up to where I'm going to be living, whatever. He goes, yep, it'll be here when you get here. That's what I'm doing. I'm setting myself up so I'm going to be a rich son of a bitch when I get there. Because the same illusion with all monetary system. But I got a business going to be making tons of cash. I'm cornering the market. And I told Christ to keep it shut because it's mine, man. I'm giving all this stuff away. And I can create it all anyway. But, I'm going to go. My time's up. Later, guys.